Hello and welcome to How to Use Blender. Today we're going to be talking about how to make a 3D model of a, of a methane molecule, or methane, depending on how you want to call it. I'll turn on the screencast so you can see what I'm doing. And I will get rid of the textures and stuff so we can start kind of kind of fresh. So we can see what's going on. There we go. Okie dokie. So let's go into edit mode. And we're going we're gonna to turn this cube into a cylinder with open edges we can use that as the valances for our 3D model. We're gonna, uh, you can notice that this is actually just a cube, but yet it has 45 degree angles. And that's kind of odd. Well, that's actually because we have a modifier on it called a bevel. We're going to delete that, and we're going to add a different modif modifier called a subdivision surface, or a subsurface. And now this makes everything round. Th this variable right here modifies how round it'll be, and how high, quali how qu the, how high quality it'll be inside the preview mode, and this one shows how high quality it'll be in the render mode. So I'll turn down the preview mode to 2 and turn up the the, uh, the render quality. But now, the problem is it's rounded on this edge, but I but I only want it rounded on this side. So we're going to go to polygon selection, select these, and delete the faces. Now it's an open-ended polygon. The last thing we need to do is to scale everything on the y-axis and make it round. And there we go. Now we can move this over and work on adding the sphere for the atom. So this is going to be our carbon molecule, or atom. Sorry, our carbon atom. Yeah. Take care of the subdivision and subsurface. And we're going to copy and paste it, but we're going to leave it in the same exact place. Because what we can do is we can go into the edit mode and move it up. But we can keep the object origin down here, so even when we go back to, to object mode, we can still rotate it around the center of the other atom. That's, that, that, that can be pretty useful. So, copy and paste it there. Move that GC 2.5 and then I'll scale that by 0 0.7 so it's a little smaller because that'll be our hydrogen atom. And now what I can do is I can give it a, mo uh, a material because what I want to do is I want to give it the material before I copy and paste it around the atom. I'm going to make it like a blue or something like that. That's good enough. Then we can shift D rotate 120, then we go up, shift D, rotate 120, shift D, rotate 120, and you see as I copy and paste it, it, it also uh, made it, it made each one have the blue material, so now if I change this material, it changes all of them. And finally we need to work on the cylinder. I'm going to go into the end menu and make it go to the zero location, just so it's in the center. Go to edit mode by pressing tab and make this go into the center. Now, I'm not actually making any particular piece go to the center, but whenever you select them all, it adds up all the center variables and just makes them ma makes the, the the rough center of it go in the center. And now let's turn this around over here. I wonder if that's long enough. Hey, it is. Awesome. I'll just move it in a little bit. R minus ninety. Now we have that. That's awesome. Shift D R one twenty. Oh wait, do I? Okay, yeah. It already has a, a, a material on there from whenever I, because it was originally the brick. Shift D R twenty, and Shift D R one twenty. And looky there, we have our little molecule. It's pretty awesome. I'm gonna add a material to the carbon atom. Make it pitch black. Render it. That looks okay. But we actually could go to the cycles render engine and make it look even better. If we render it like this, it's going to look like that. And that doesn't look all that good. So we can go to the world tab and change the background because, see, in the, in the cycles render engine, the world background actually changes how it looks. So there we have that. And these light sources don't really give that much light in the Cycles Render Engine, so we can just delete that. Add a plane. Because see, in the Cycles Render Engine, it's best to make an object give off the light. Like, we'll add a material for that plane. We'll make the the material have emissions, so it'll give out light. See how the material is giving out light? And we can scale it up. Oh, well, it's in the kind of the wrong place, so we'll move it over here. Let's 
scale it up a bit. I want to make sure it's out of the way of the camera, though. Yep, it's out of the way of the camera. And that is what it would look like there. Let's maybe mod uh, render it now and see how it looks. See, it's building the files up right there. I don't really know if sure what it's doing, but it always has to do that before it renders. Hmm. You know what? I say we turn the background image to 0.2. Make it a little bit blue. And then we change we go to the render settings and we change the exposure to 1.4 I don't know, just kind of a random guess, I wonder if that'll work that looks okay, looks pretty cool I say that's a success that's a pretty good methane molecule, or methane, whatever hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something see ya!